Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to create a dynamic pie chart in Excel for analyzing quarterly sales. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional worksheet where selecting a quarter dynamically updates the pie chart. Let's get started. First, we need to calculate the quarter number for each date in our data set. To do this, I added a new column labeled quarter and used a formula to determine the quarter for each date. First, we will extract the month number of the date using the month function and then we will divide it into 12. And we know quarter means we consider every four months, so I multiply the ratio by 12 and I will use the roundup function to return the roundup value. I will remove the decimals. Next, I will concatenate with a letter Q. When I pressed Enter, the formula returned the quarter number for the date in cell B5. I then copied this formula down the column to calculate the quarter for all the dates in the dataset. Next, I created a drop-down menu to allow users to select a specific quarter. For this, I used Excel's Data Validation feature. Go to the Data tab and select Data Validation. In the Data Validation window, select List as the validation criteria. For the source, I'll select the quarter column, column E, to populate the drop-down with all the quarter numbers. Now when I click on the drop-down in cell I4, I can select any quarter dynamically. To calculate the total sales for the selected quarter, I use the Group By function in cell H7. I first select the product name as a row field argument, which is column C. Next, for the values argument, I select the sales amount column, which is cell ranges from D5 to D31. Use the sum function to calculate the total sales for each product. Then, to show the headers of the return array, select the last option. Finally, for the filter array argument, specify the condition to filter the data based on the selected quarter. For this, we select the column E to select the quarter number, which should be equal to I4. When I pressed Enter, the formula calculated the total sales for each product in the selected quarter. As you can see, the total sales value is dynamically updated upon selecting the quarter from the drop-down list. To make visible the headers, I will extend the cell ranges that would cover the headers. Now let's create a pie chart to visualize the quarterly sales data. Click on the calculated sales data and go to the Insert tab. From the Chart section, I chose the Pie Chart option. Let me change the chart title to Quarterly Sales by double-clicking on the title. Next, let's remove the outline and add data labels by right-clicking on the chart and selecting Add Data Labels. Let us change the legend position to the right. Finally, let me change the data label from a value to a percentage. Now, the pie chart dynamically updates whenever I select a different quarter from the drop-down menu. And that's it. We've successfully created a dynamic pie chart for quarterly sales analysis. You can now use this worksheet to analyze sales data for any quarter with just a few clicks. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips and tricks.